All right, welcome back to some more health accumulation. So there's so many gadgets, so many gimmicks that you, I'm sure you're well aware, related to optimizing health, longevity, and uh, you know they all work. But as we know, they don't all work. And I find many of my patients are feeling like throwing in the towel, saying forget it all, because they've wasted so much time, so much effort, and uh, you know so much hope on things that were going to do something to support their 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 healthy community lifestyle, and they just did not do that. So if you haven't already liked this video, subscribe, be sure to do so, because this really helps others find this actionable health accumulation opportunity that we're bringing, you know, hopefully twice a week um, through 2023. So what actually does work? And I would say the one thing that does work is sauna therapy. Sauna therapy is a huge win for your body. You know, really the darker the days, the colder the days, the more benefit you can gain from sauna therapy. And for, for those of us living you know, above the 46 degree north latitude, we need sauna therapy. <laughs> we should really make saunas a part of our house plans. That should be like standard operating procedure. The thing is about a good infrared sauna, which I tend to choose infrared saunas over standard saunas because the barrier to entry is not astronomical. Uh, though most of us will still have to plan for it. I mean, it's going to cost you between three and $5,000 uh, to get a good, solid, you know, infrared sauna that's going to last your lifetime. But, you know, a high quality one should pretty much last you your, your entire life. And you could pass it down to your children or, or, or to their children and get them in the habit of getting a good sweat on, circulating, uh, helping out their cardiovascular system. There are so many things we can add on when it comes to health promotion, you know, beyond awesome food, whole foods, regular fitness routine, sleep, you know, enjoying life and, and work that we do. I would say sauna therapy is that tried and true one that you can add into the mix and accumulate health and know it's gonna be good to go 50 years down the road. Infrared saunas are a lot easier to manage. And I find patients are way more likely to actually use them and uh, continue to use them when it com as compared to a standard uh, sauna. And you literally can just plug them in uh, to, to the wall, push power, you know, put the temperature you wanted at, and you know, a few minutes, it's gonna be heated up and it's gonna be ready for you. And you are literally off to the races for supporting circulation, for like I mentioned, like some cognitive benefits. And you know, if I was to get another sauna, I would get one from like Heavenly Heat or from Sauna Ray. My personal sauna is from Sauna Ray, uh, but a little more challenging to get now because they're a Canadian company and I'm in the United States of America. I have zero affiliation with those companies. I don't think they have any kind of affiliates or anything like that. They're just really solid companies um, that make really, really high quality saunas that will literally probably last you a lifetime, like I mentioned. And I've moved my current sauna like five times with zero issues. So think about, you can go sit in a really warm room, potentially hot in the room, read a book, talk to your buddy, um, you know, make a call and, uh, or just like sit there and meditate, breathe, stretch, and then walk out in 20 to 30 minutes, having improved the balance of your nervous system, the balance of your cardiovascular system. You know, you've, you've decreased the likelihood of uh, experiencing seasonal affective disorder. You've given your body uh, um, greater opportunity and greater life margin simply by sitting in, in a comfortable sauna for, for 20 to 30 minutes. It's not amazing. And not only that, but sauna therapy actually mimics the physiological and protective uh, responses of exercise. Just like exercise helps balance our stress response, helps us preserve muscle mass, you know, counters that sarcopenia, the aging of muscle tissue, protects our mind from neurodegeneration and uh, our cardiovascular system from decay and atrophy, so does sauna therapy. So say you're injured, but you, you don't want to lose a lot of your fitness gains, your performance gains, but you could jump into a sauna and that can, by increasing the circulation, by, by supporting your, your stress response, by reducing it, can actually help you maintain, and there's effects on heat shock proteins, a lot of really intense stuff, but it can help you maintain muscle mass and, and the healthier muscle tissue, even though you're not able to go do a workout right now. And often people say, hey, I don't have enough time. But think about it. You're watching this video right now, or you're listening to this on a podcast right now. You could just as easily doing that while sitting in a sauna and getting dual therapy for your being. 
And I would also mention, you don't need your sauna temperature to be insane to reap great benefits. You know, there's strong evidence that suggests that a temperature of 113 degrees Fahrenheit up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit can actually offer you benefit uh, for all kinds of elements. So some, some more benefit when it went slower, some benefit when it went higher, but really in the end, it's consistency. One time in the sauna, it's not gonna change everything, but you consistently finding yourself in the sauna could change a lot of things. Consider that with uh, neurodegeneration, neurodegenerative diseases like dementia and Alzheimer's disease, those who took sauna therapy four to seven times per week, so four up to basically every day of the week, had a 66% reduction and a 65% lower risk of developing the dementia and Alzheimer's disease, and a 77% decreased risk of developing psychotic disorders. Nobody wants a psychotic disorder, right? And you could really greatly decrease your risk by simply sitting enjoying sauna therapy. So I will take that. I'm sure you'll take it too. So if you recognize, you know, neurodegeneration uh, patterns in your family, or you're feel like, man, I feel like my own cognition is just kind of slipping. I'm, I'm not where I used to be. Sauna therapy might be just the ticket. And you know, that could be a huge part of your journey in health accumulation. My general rule is to start with potentially less than five minutes. You know, if, if you're a little bit older um, or you feel more frail and uh, you know, just get to that point of perspiration and then, and then hop out. Or if you're somebody that does not perspire well, you know, just if you start feeling kind of uncomfortable, I would definitely hop out, you know, let yourself acclimate um, because we are applying a stressor to our body, though a very positive one. Uh, it can have potential side effects if you're, if you're um, are overdoing it. So allow yourself to acclimate to the heat and then it will be a, an enjoyable experience as opposed to a, oh, this feels terrible. I don't like it. It's so uncomfortable. Just take your time. This isn't a sprint. This is definitely a marathon therapy. Uh, I would also, if you do get a sauna, look for EMFs, look for glues they're using, look for fake wood, look for plastics being used in the, in the creation of the sauna, especially these infrared saunas. Um, if any of that's being used, just pass on them because you don't need those things. I mentioned a couple of companies earlier that don't have any of that stuff that you could use. Uh, but let me know about your sauna experience. I would love to hear about it. And the coolest thing about it is 50 years from now, 100 years from now, we'll still be talking about how beneficial sauna therapy is for the human being. All right, I'm Dr. Matt. Talk to you guys later.